we're going to be finding the x and y intercepts for this equation y equals negative log base 3 of x minus 2 plus 1. So to find an x-intercept, as we can see here, we're going to set the y equal to 0 and solve for x. So first off, we say 0 is equal to negative log base 3 of x minus 2 plus 1. And now we want to get the log alone, so I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides so that we get negative 1 is equal to negative log base 3 of x minus 2. Next we're going to want to get rid of this negative in the front, so we're dividing both sides by negative 1. So 1 equals log base 3 of x minus 2. Now once we have the logarithm isolated, we can solve this by changing it into exponential form. So our base is going to be 3, our exponent is 1, and our argument is going to be x minus 2. Now to finish solving this off, we're just going to add 2 to both sides so that we find out that x is equal to, well, 3 plus 2, so our x-intercept here is 5. So if we were to look at this as a coordinate, it would be 5 comma 0. Next, we're going to find the y-intercept. To do this, we're going to set the x equal to 0 and solve for y. So writing our equation out, y is equal to negative log base 3 of 0 minus 2 plus 1. So when we solve this, y is going to equal negative log base 3 of negative 2 plus 1. Now at this point in time, this should set up some warning flags to you because we're taking the log of a negative number. Now this is not allowed because, well, our domain of our logs typically are that our x's have to be larger than zero because we usually have an asymptote at the x, I'm sorry, at the y-axis. So if we were to go and graph our equation here, we could figure out that we have an x-intercept at positive five, so one, two, three, four, five, here's our x-intercept. <clears throat> and we can graph our logarithm since it got flipped and moved one, two, uh, one up. So it looks like 